What's up everybody, my name is Manuel, and if you're like me, when you saw The Mandalorian, you fell in love with this little guy, Baby Yoda. And why wouldn't you? He's awesome, he's fun, he's green, he does all kinds of good stuff. And when the toys first came out with it, they were soft, they were plush, and they're fine, but I want a little bit extra. So in true Star Wars fashion, I made him a robot. And what that means is that I put a whole bunch of motors in this guy, such that he can move around his arms, move around his head, and even drive around autonomously. And that autonomous part was done using hardware that I carry around with me every day, my phone. Using open source software, we're able to load machine learning models on this guy, such that he can track me going down the street, just like he does with the Mandalorian. So let's get to it. All right, so we're starting off with a sketch here. And this is done just to get a really general idea of what we're gonna be doing, what we're gonna be designing. Um, so we have a base platform here. We have a sort of control mass that's gonna spin the head around. Uh, let's make the head here face up, draw some shoulders on there, some arms. And we have the sort of directions in which everything's gonna rotate just so we can get some sort of idea of how it's all gonna work. We have a faceplate there, and the faceplate is also going to ro rotate around so we can move Yoda, a couple of wheels, and now we're ready for CAD. So here's the final design. And as mentioned earlier, we have a whole bunch of parts. The base platform, we have fenders there for the wheels. Uh, we have this main section here that we're able to control with a gear on the servo. Uh, we have arms here, we can rotate those around. We also have the faceplate here, we can pitch up and down, rotate that. In the back, we have a place for a Raspberry Pi and a PWM control board. So now that we have this, let's split up the parts and throw them on the 3D printer. All right, so now we have all the parts printed. And believe me, I only had to print them once. I didn't have to print them three or four times to make sure it worked. It worked on the first time, no problem. So now that we have all the parts printed, it's just a matter of assembling them all together, wiring it all up, putting in the ML models, and crossing our fingers. Let's get to it. Here it is, fully assembled. Now that we have all the components in, we wired it all up, and now we're ready to turn it on. Well, doesn't really do much. Looks like we need to write some software. Nothing too interesting. We're just reading in commands here from the controller on the Pi and sending them down to the servos. So now that we have the software written, we can move his head around, move his arms, and even drive him around. And this is all done because the Raspberry Pi is connected to the controller via Bluetooth and the controller sends commands and then we can drive the motors. Now, he looks kind of cool the way he is now, but we just, we gotta dress him up, we gotta. All right, so here he is. So I added some extra functionality such that we can play back pre-recorded movements from the controller. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. I was able to move him around earlier, 
record the movements, and now he's playing it back. So the basic functionality is there. Now let's take a look at some cool shots. So like I mentioned earlier, this guy can drive around autonomously. And he does that by using ML models loaded on my phone. Now he uses the camera from my phone to detect a person and send motor commands down. So what I did is I made him a little phone holder. From here, all I need to do is plug in my phone. Launch the app and we're good to go. Okay, now for the software running on the phone, we're going to be using OpenBot, and that is open source software developed by Intel. The idea here is to turn smartphones into robots. Uh, now what we're going to be using this functionality for is such that it can track me as I'm going down the street, and eventually we'll be using this for autonomous driving. Now we can use the OpenBot software by installing the app that's found on their GitHub page. Now this is what the app interface looks like. From here, they have a whole bunch of options. Um, you can set whether or not you want to use a controller or control with the machine learning network. Also here, you can control the device via USB. Right now it's not connected, but once we're connected through USB, you'll be able to check that box. You can set the USB baud right here for serial communication, whatever you want. Drive mode, this allows you to have different ways of controlling the Yoto when you are driving with a remote control. Um, also here allows you to set different speeds that you want there, slow, normal, or fast. Here we have the option to select a couple of different ML models. Uh, the first two are for person detection and following. The last one there is for autonomous driving. And this is what it looks like. So as you can see, Yoda drives around, he drives a box around the person, and he sends motor commands down to make them turn left or right or keep going straight. And when you put it all together, this is what it looks like. So as I mentioned earlier, he also has the functionality to drive around fully autonomously, where he can drive from A to B, navigating through a path, 
and avoiding obstacles along the way. Now, if you want to see how we can train the ML models such that Yoda can do those sorts of things, let me know. Until then, thanks everybody.